I'm thankful that you did me wrong Cause now I got it right, I promise you gon' miss me gone I done seen it all like the first picture phone They wishing on my downfall with the wishing bone Now unless you on Cloud 10, I'm not around How you heard the motherfucking word? What's good y'all, it's yours truly Once again, Heartbreak Ace If you're familiar with my content or not Hit that like, comment, subscribe So the algorithm gives you breaking content every time I upload Algorithm can keep hating but he gonna get y'all this video, cause he know I snuff him out. I feel like David Banner. Might as well put my Cadillac on 22, cause I ain't did nothing in my life to stay true. Nah, topic of discussion though, while we here. Shout out to my guy Joe once again, man. The same episode, 745, if you watched my previous videos on my channel. But this time, we ain't talking about Cardi B. Uh, we talking about Bobby Adolph and Funny Marco. Now, if you familiar with my channel or the culture, then you know exactly who Funny Marco is. Funny Marco had his own little style of comedy where he act kind of nonchalant and weird. And you know, if you didn't know, Bobby Adolph is this uh, white woman, young white woman. She is a friend of his and she took his style. They became friends. He kind of mentored her to our rise of fame after she did the Drake video when it was laid up in the bed or whatever. She blew up. Well, um, a lot of people were saying that she jacked his style and then she got more famous than him and they ain't found like that was right, whatever, whatever. But to fast forward, I don't know, they talked about it, they came over their differences, so they became friends again. Now in the midst of that, Funny Marco and Funny this tour for him and Bobby Adolf. It's a comedy tour, but it's live. And it's, it's different from that podcast and Instagram where they act not to answer or they don't know who you are, like Bobby Adolf love to do. Well, in a live audience stand up comedy style, that ain't gonna work. And apparently that's what Bobby Atoll tried to do. And Funny Walker wasn't feeling that. He wasn't feeling it so much, he canceled a lot of shows. And he gave his reason behind it. And she also responded to that. But before we even commentate about it or whatever, I'm gonna let you hear what Joe them had to say about it. So you already know what we do when we sell up on the block. We don't sit there. We spin it. We spin the block. What's good, Lay Bloomer Gang? It's yours truly, Heartbreak Ace. Now, I don't know about y'all, but for me personally, since I could remember as a kid, I've been a geek and a nerd when it comes to technology. Now, I got to have the latest trends. I got to have the nice cameras, uh, all of that, all the essentials for podcasting, especially making these videos to give y'all with high quality audio and uh, visuals. I only go to one place. And of course, y'all know that's Amazon. Amazon got everything you need. Everything from A to Z, literally. And you know, they got a lot of good prices. Some things are pricey, but you don't have to get that. You know what I mean? I know people be on a budget a lot. We got bills to pay. We got to take care of our kids. We got an everyday lifestyle. I get it. So I made a list for y'all. Must have for content creators, for beginners or pros. Just simply go on my channel, hit the link like I'm showing you in this video, and see if it's something that you might like. I'm pretty sure you will. Especially if you want to look good <laughs> like I do on these videos. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking with y'all, man. But you know what I mean? As always, show love. Show love to each other. It shows truly. Till next time, it's heartbreak. What was on it? She said, they told me Chuck's the only one. Chuck's the only one to get your handy downs and party in the party. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Who told you that? <laughs> they. They, nigga. Wait, that's not a weird thing for somebody to just come up to you and say, yo. hey. Yo, yo, yo by the way, yo, yo, <laughs> nigga, be giving, <laughs> nigga be giving all this old shit to Chubbs. It, it, yo, Chubbs get all this shit. Hey, Kendrick won, but what? that's odd. Yo, that nigga hating. He wants some of that shit. I would, I would stop a nigga <laughs> from nigga telling that. me that. Nigga, that. Yo, yo, you know who can tame me down? Yo, move, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you take a walk down the street, buddy. Yo, oh, uh, that's what I got that's funny. Also, that's the end of our political segment. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. We got beef. We do have concert goer beef. We do have or minutes. live show beef. Uh, and this beef is between Funny Marco and Bobby Althoff. Yes. Oh, uh, what happened? Uh, Funny Marco and Bobby Althoff were scheduled to go on a tour together. They announced it. They it's did the a second of, time. Sorry to cut you off. Yeah, right. It's the second, second time. Second time. Yes. Okay. Yes. They announced it. Uh, they did a couple of teasers for it, and then we never heard anything about it again. And Joe Budden was wondering. Mm. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. If you listen, I don't be wondering about nothing important. <laughs> but, but, I'll be all like, yo, what happened to Funny Marco? <laughs> <laughs> that tour they were doing. <laughs> What flip? But, but before you play that though, you, you see how you know Funny Marco made it about the people, right? You know, smart move. She she didn't she you know her style of you guys weren't enjoying it. She wasn't adjusting to the style that we were trying to produce. She wasn't adjusting, and then when she talked about it, she talked about have, no the business. No, having mental health social issues. anxiety, social anxiety, social she awkwardness. About her, her, her mental health. She went you know ah. also a good move. But it was like, nah. Yeah. Yeah. I'm tired of the move, but it's been very effective so, for the past yo, five, six years. The state of your mental health, the one place we don't give a fuck about that is during the live tour. The live tour, your mental health, has, you have to stay home now. Yeah. Yes. But that's a We are live in front of a live audience. Yo. This audience is live. Stop. We did meet and greets. Some of these niggas have drove from right. other states. Some of these people have flown in. Right. We don't go on tour so often. These people want to see who they want to see. You get up there with your mental health off. That's on That's on the stage now. That's on the crew. That's on us. And that energy is going to affect the rest of the people on the show. Let's not make it about us right now. Let me hit the clip. Bobby, to death. Bobby's a good person. Start you know, with love. I feel like everybody good. Let's be real. Like, I don't have shit bad said by nobody. But when people pay their hard working money. See, he's saying the I same really thing I just really said. I care about that. So when I'm on stand up tour and I'm selling out these tours and then me and Bobby be able to come together and people are paying their money to come see us, I really want that to get better. I don't want it to be the same. I don't want That's to a fact. take nobody money. If you can't get it again. Let me let me, start let me say that. If you can't get the money again, you don't need to be don't doing do it. That's like with anything. With promo, if you're doing promo, don't be out here trying to scramble for money and take people hard work money to just do it and use your platform and then go about your day because it's about long no, like no, relationships. No, 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 so the fact that I feel like I was, I did stand up before and I'm still doing it. So I understand I'm learning how to entertain a crowd. And it's not the same thing that you get on Instagram. This is real life where people are going to look. I love Bobby and they want the energy and they want the feeling. Yeah, over. And I feel like Bobby was, stiff a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, hey man, let's let's really, really work on this. Like, and I, I pay script writers, like, let's really get them a show. Mm, and he's killing when she us. told me, that's not me. Bobby was like, my comedy is me not talking a lot. And I'm like, shit, this is different. Like, you can do that on the podcast, but in real life, this is different. So yeah. her comedy was different from what she said, from what, what she wanted to bring to the show, which I can respect, you know what I'm saying? It's not nothing about me getting mad. I'm not saying you're doing nothing. You get the point. Mm -hmm. listening, to, listening to Funny Marco, I mean, this is the very polite, nice PC version of what he wanted to say. I thought he did an amazing job explaining that. I will toss it to Bobby so you can hear a little bit about what she had to say before we discuss. I want to lose this relationship, but I got to stay strong. Cause I don't want to move on. I know you sick and tired of the fussy. Are you recording? Yes, we're recording, right, Bobby. Marco. I guess this is this is how we're doing this now. Oh, there's chops in there. Adam just your video. The video. Not gonna lie, I was a little shocked. So here's my my version of what happened last year. We were mm. supposed to go on tour, okay. and I was tea backed out last minute because backed out. My husband had just left me. I just had surgery, and I was super nervous going into this because I was not prepared. And I text Marco and I said, Marco, I'm so sorry to do this, but I am so depressed right now. I literally wanna myself. He doesn't reply to me. And then he unfollows me. I woke up from surgery actually to him unfollowing me. And not only that, in the coming weeks, he would go on multiple podcasts and talk about how much he didn't fuck with my style of humor. Fast forward sometimes. Yeah, come on, get Vegas. to the tea. Get to the and team. Like, I actually felt really good about it. I felt like I really got out of my comfort zone. I really felt good about it. And he's like, yeah, you killed it. It was great. Fast forward <clears throat> a couple more weeks. I might hear from my team that he canceled it. And I'm like, what the hell? Marco canceled the show. Like, why? They're like, I don't know. So I'm like calling him, calling him, calling him. Doesn't answer me. I'm like, okay, congratulations on the baby. Doesn't answer me. He just won't answer me. But then he's tagging me in post to Taylor Swift dancing and being like, that's Bobby. And I'm like, okay, at least we're still cool. Fast forward to today, and 
I get tagged in a video of Marco standing by a pool talking to everybody about why he canceled the tour. And like... You didn't play the rest of the part with you. Um, because it's just too long-winded. It's I got too it. many words. I got it's it. too many words. I got what She later went into, I am socially awkward. I have social anxiety. So that wasn't my bag. And, and I why you agree to do a tour? Flip, you said that Money. they were on tour before. See, I well, don't like no, that. She, they weren't on tour before, but they were supposed to, and she backed out. <clears throat> Okay. She backed so they never actually went, did any dates with no, each other? No, not before, no. But okay. this time they did a couple of shows and Marco wasn't satisfied with how she was on the show. Like, See, now wait, slow down, slow down. I'm sorry to cut you off, Flip. Yeah. Because they never did any shows don't mean that work for the tour didn't start yet. Because mm -hmm. tours have to be That's set up true. Mm -hmm. weeks right and months in advance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if we set all these dates up with all these people behind the scenes figuring this shit out, and then when it's time to rock and roll, you pop up with, I'm depressed. No, just silence for me. Yeah. Yeah, no, I got it. And no, there's plenty of podcasters out there. And also my question to y'all, because I'm all over the place now, mm -hmm. is what is divorce etiquette when work is involved? When you know that your coworker is going through a divorce and that could be a strenuous time in their lives, but work got to get done. The work because in this done. moment, the work, the work I don't, I don't get give done, a fuck yo. that you going through a divorce if we have a tour set up. I don't. Yeah. That's me. That's me. You, gotta, but, but, you have to be able to check some of that shit at the door, unfortunately. But that's easier said than done for some people. That's true. Based for some on, people, yeah. Based off your experience in life. Like this, we don't know. Stay home or don't agree to go on a tour. Like well, I, 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 I watch Marco's grind, so I understand. He, he come from where we come from. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So he understands the struggle and, you know, just being determined to get to it. To get to it. Yeah. With her, she probably, I'm not, I'm not judging her, but she probably had it easy a lot. You know what I'm saying? And it's just easy for her to just back out of the tour. And for some niggas that put a lot of work in, that shit, like when I give you a second chance, because you backed out before, when I give you a second chance, I'm expecting yeah. you to be on your A game. You know what it sounds like? And now in the second chance, yeah. you bringing that internet awkward type of comedy to our live show and it's not really translating. It's not resonating. And then I'm telling you after every show and you like, no, th that's what I do. Wait, now... The first time I hear that should not be on tour. True, no, but I yeah. agree with that. You know who fault that is too, though? Hers. Both. Because from what I've... You guys can correct me. We've never been on tour, but some of this stuff should be rehearsed. Some of this stuff, or the direction at least, of the content should be rehearsed to where we know the direction. So she can't even get up there and pull the quiet shit. I, I tell y'all all, all the time. Hey, actually, when we were doing tour rehearsals, mm -hmm. I said one million times, there's really no such thing as rehearsal. Yeah, mm -hmm. but a lot, We could be as prepared as we want to be. Uh -huh. Yeah, We yeah, can have our segments. Totally different. Mm -hmm. But when you get out there under them bright lights... <laughs> And That's somebody true. drop a ball, you just drop the ball. Gotcha. But also, you, but, but you got to pick it up. He, he come why, from the, But why right. was he thinking that she was going to present any other way than what she has presented right. as? Like, I, I've i never seen any other version of her other than that quiet, awkward, kind of weird staccato style of interviewing. So I do think that there is I a mean, little bit of fault in trying to book fucking... Uh, I don't know Griselda for a club tour. Like if that, like it's the wrong, it's the wrong fit. First to respond it's, to, to right. respond the to right you. person for the right game. Right. I don't, I don't like that Griselda example. Like I agree with part. If you're booking Griselda for a club tour, you know you off. Like there is not, saying to them we're going on a club tour. Like that's your bad. It's nothing that they could alter to make that their thing. If you if you're a comedian, and Funny Marco come from stand up grind out tours so he know what that goes into that and I assume that Bobby Althoff is in that same vibe because she, they've had those conversations yeah so. when she agrees to go on tour and we go work on a show cause I'm, I'm sure that they went and worked on something for the collaboration no they okay hold on but to answer you they come from more of the improv yeah. Right. So that's where they come from. So gotcha. he's treating it as such, and he has conversations with Bobby behind the scenes. So he's expecting that to translate on stage. But and she's that's comfortable. Said, and no, she's no, comfortable with Marco. Yeah. She may not be comfortable in. Yeah. True. No. Chickawa, I, Minnesota. Then and, go home. And that's so, what so she's you, saying. If, if, she's if you, saying you, I suffered a level of anxiety that I didn't know. No, was but no, with. but he's saying that. No, but no, he's saying that. 
you can act like that on the podcast, but up here, meaning that he has engaged with her. Like you said, it's a comfortability thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So he's expecting is the he sit here, you sit there. Let's get into a conversation. So if I'm throwing something at you, I'm not expecting you on stage in front of mad people to clam up, to freeze to up, do that clam because up, that's dead air. That's, that's not dead. hit but your pod- line. Yeah, but podcasts are like a controlled environment. The stage is the complete and total opposite. So this a, this might have been a little bit of her not really truly understanding that, or her not being as invested as he is. That's what it sounds well, like but, to, but, me. to me. Both it's a, can it's be. Yeah. Both like, because can be for true. her to be able to just say, "Yo, I'm not." This is who I am. This is my style of comedy. I can't do this. Mm-hmm. Meaning you don't have much to lose here. You're not invested as he is. But he, he putting this mm-hmm. together. So like, yo, this is a tour. I got X, Y, the behind the scenes shit done. I've invested in here. He saw we got to make this work. He and saw, and, and wait a minute. Yeah, nice. Hold up. Hold up now. Yes. Yes. Because it's easy for that person to walk away. To me, this mm-hmm. is the same conversation that we see with, with the uh, uh, viral streaming artists trying to go do real shows. It's not the same world. This is an internet world versus right. trying the to do world. shit right. like as an actual entertainer performer. Right. All right, but look, these but, kids but, aren't necessarily built for but, that shit because they're but, used to just pressing the upload button mm-hmm. and reading the comments, re- replying to which comments they want to reply right. to, mm-hmm. et cetera. But et cetera. you can say the same thing about yourself though, because you you, you you come over one side and on here, but when we did another show, you showed a different side to you. Yeah, you didn't. You wasn't the one liner. You were more involved for sure. And then I I was aware of that because behind the scenes we had the conversation. Right. So what I'm saying is that I think Marco did the same thing. He said that put that character away. That shit not gonna work here. Show me, show them the Bobby out of that we know. Right. See, and I feel like that's not even Marco's job to relay this information to her. Got it. Like that's on her team. If if this is her second time trying to set up a tour, I'm gonna assume that her team has expressed to her the importance of hard ticket history. Mm-hmm. Oh. You might be trying to build hard ticket history. And if that's happening, then when somebody comes to say to you, hey, what we doing out here ain't getting it done, that it's time for you to fix it. Right. It's not time for you to say, that's just what I do. You know why you can say that? It's because I don't I don't feel the same risk you feel. I'm not as invested in this as you are. So well, it's easier for her to say, yo, that's just wrong, me. This is wrong what it time is. to I'm learn not. that in real time. I, I agree. Wrong, I agree. wrong time to figure that out. Somebody could say before the tour star, yo, I'm not feeling it. I'm not rocking with it. Hey, the money ain't right. It don't feel good out here. Yo, do it without me, dog. And even that's fucked up because now I've set all these venues for our audiences, for mm-hmm. not for me. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like he come from stand up. He could have easily went and went and did a 300 seater and been fine. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Shout out to them both. But I just thought that was a really interesting beef. Yeah, it is interesting. I mean, I, tagging her and ignoring the phone calls is definitely a little bit strange. Yeah, I'm hot. True. Yeah. I'm fucking heated yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that's true. I don't think how so do you, How do you respond to that when somebody... She's grinding my gears, yeah. but I have to promote and make it seem like we're cool. Mm-hmm. We're on tour. Hey, look, y'all. Anything that I got hot, I'm adding my people. But in real life, bitch, you know what's up. You know mm-hmm. what it is with me. I that's just true. talked to you this morning. That's yep. true. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. We back. We spent the block one time. About a 10 minutes word. It wasn't too much long, so I know y'all should still be here with me. Now... I'm going to say this here. Um, I agree with Joe and them. However, I want to say it a little delicate. I don't want to say it too aggressive because I don't want to be picking on nobody that actually have mental problems and all of that. And if you could remember, um, after that episode that she had with Drake is when Bobby Adolph and her husband had their differences and he divorced her and he left her. And some say it's because she had a sexual relation with Drake or he she gave him head in the bed or something like that. Who knows, man? I don't know. But when he's dealing with Drake, it's not far-fetched. He is Mr. Still Your Girl. Now, um, I can I can understand her uh, reasoning, but also, just like Joe and most of the cast were saying, um, if we already got a tour and all this side up, you let me spend all my money investing that for for not just me, but for your crowd. Uh, we we had uh, I, I bought. Practices where we can learn how to uh, perform better. All of this, all of this. I had teachers to teach us how to do all of that. Like I put all of my time and work and money invested in this. And just because you feel in a type of way, you want to counsel and lock out. And that's cool. But the problem is, do that before I spend all my time and money on these tours. Because I'm your friend. I'm not gonna feel like hitting you after you do that to me. Cause you, if we friends and we close like that, you should have already spoke on this before we did the show. Especially after the fact you you was feeling 
um, nervous, but after you did the show and you said that he said it was a good show, um, then that mean you was over the, the depression that you said that you had. So you can't really get mad at him. I just feel bad at this in his context that it's a woman that we have to pretty much attack on this situation, but I mean, she kind of in the wrong in this situation. I'm sorry. He didn't do anything wrong at all. Yeah, he made that video because he had to save his face because he know better than everybody know. Even though he the one that started you on this, if you would have just simply made your video with that ment mental uh, help and awareness that you needed, what you think they would have did in his career? They would have bashed him. They would have bashed him like he was trying to be a bully on you. And, and it made like he was a friend that he was a bad friend, a distrustful, disloyal friend. So he had to make that video. And I'm glad he did. Cause I'm very, very tired of seeing how, how people of our culture find a way, they, they grind hard and, and finally make it to the top. And then it's always some BS that always try to knock them down. And we go for it. Our own kind or help knock that person down. Like nobody don't want to see nobody doing good. Don't even know them. They ain't doing nothing to you. You can't get angry because they find their way. You find your way. But I'd be damned if we let somebody that you bring into the culture to get accepted by the culture and she steal the whole show and then she try to don't want to complete the show and then try to turn me down in the process. No, we're not doing that. She did bad by that. That was, that was distasteful. It was a better way to address that. And that's my only problem with the whole situation. But you know, they friends, so I hope they can work it out. Cause it's, she, she might be really going through some things, man. That might be the reason why she act like that on her, uh, her natural attitude is supposed to be for comedy, but that might be her real mental state right now. She might be going through something, who knows? But at the same time, just cause Funny Marco do a lot of comedy don't mean he ain't going through anything. It took a lot, blood, sweat, and tears to get to this point. I'm not gonna get turned down because I wanna tag somebody along and they didn't feel in the way that I wanna do things because it's working for us. I wanna disagree about somebody else's platform that brought me to their platform. The reason why I even got million subscribers in the first place? Nah, nah. But that's just my opinion, man. Now, don't don't bash me for it. I'm just being real. Now, leave a comment down below. Let me know how y'all feel. Y'all feel like Funny Marco was in the right or y'all feel like Bobby Athol was in the right? Your opinion is welcome. But, you know, shout out to everybody, man. Salute, man. Show love, bro. You know, this world keeps showing me every day. And showing y'all. Why I always say, love each other. Till next time. It's yours truly. Heartbreak.